Well, we're on another hunt. Seen a few deer already. So, gonna make our way over to this. There's a bit of a knob over here that will allow us to look further into these gullies. So, we'll see what we can find, see if there's anything worth shooting. But there's a few deer out, so. Worst case, I might just tip over something for meat. <laughs> got a stag down here. Just got busted by a spiker. And, yeah, this stag's about to come out of the bush, so he could be in some trouble soon. Just waiting him out. Right here. Yep. Nah. This is the exact same shape. So it was on the... It's in those blackberries like I thought. That's exactly where we were. This is where I shot him. Oh. oh. What? Well, there's my bullet. Must have pulled the shot to the right. Damn it. Well, that sucks. Can't find it. Hit that branch. I thought maybe it's deflected and hit him a bit, but there's a couple of deer out, but not him. So come back and look again in the morning. Getting too dark.
So by this stage, it's getting to be late morning. We'd had no luck relocating that deer on the opposite face or looking in any of the gullies, so I just decided to take Remy for a good old bush stalk. So I should have had the GoPro on in hindsight, but instead I've just taken this little bit of phone footage. But this happened about 10 times. I was just slowly bush stalking through this patch, patch of bush where... I'd last seen the stag in. It's not a big area. It's only about probably a hundred acre paddock of bush. And I figured that having Remy in front, she'd be wind sending me in. And I had a really good chance of either spooking the stag and, you know, at least seeing it or getting a shot at it. But it wasn't to work out that way. But I thought I'd include this bit of footage anyway, just so you guys can see Rem do her thing. It's probably a little bit long-winded, but you can see there on the left, there's a, a couple of rub trees, and I believe that's from that deer that I missed. So, it's just one of those things, but yeah, pretty cool pretty cool footage anyway, I think, of Rem just sort of leading me in, and you'll see just up here fairly soon. If you look in between those two stringy barks, you, you might see a little bit of movement, which is the hind, and at this point, she's only about probably 15 yards from me, and then to our right, there's a calf, which you'll see run out shortly. Well, no luck. I just bush stalked that entire section of bush that that stag was in yesterday afternoon. I even went back to like, the shot site where he was. Remwin scented a hind and a calf, which I got some footage on my phone. I didn't bring the big camera on. I was just trying to find, just trying to find that stag, and I don't think he's in here. I've said trail camera. I'm one of the most used game trails in here. Uh, hopefully, I'll pick him up again down the track. Absolutely spewing. I might come back out again this afternoon. But I, I think my chances now are pretty much all doomed, especially after just running my scent the whole way through there. But I think Rem indicated, I don't know how many deer. There's like 10 or something in here, so. But yeah, just all hinds and spikers and things like that, so. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here and might come back out this afternoon. But if not, I'll probably come out again next weekend and, yeah, just try and follow him up because I haven't double-checked the footage again. But from what I remember, it's a pretty nice deer, so anyway.